on uh, I-95 in Wilson County, a horrific crash shutting down the northbound lanes likely for hours. Five people were killed in this crash. Just horrible. WRL's Destiny Patterson joining us now live from the scene, an expansive scene backed up for miles. Destiny, I understand you're talking to someone who is stuck in that traffic. Lena, Dan, people have been waiting in this traffic for now more than two hours. Here with me have um, Apostle Damon McNeil. Uh, tell me about your experience out here so far. Well, earlier this this afternoon, about 12, 15, we left the house traveling to Baltimore, Maryland, for when our presiding elder, his wife, passed. So we are traveling with our bishop, um, Alexander Glover, as well as T.J. Mike, our driver. And we wanted to leave in plenty of time to get there and be of support to the family. And about after two, mi- two hours and 15 minutes of traveling, this is what we ran into. And our first instinct was like, Lord, what happened? What's going on? So, you know, we always pray before we even hit the highway. And those that's watching me live now, we ask that you pray for the families of that's involved in this tragic accident. And there are some t- cars that's trying to turn around, but the best thing is to just stay put. And sooner or later, we'll get back on the road, hopefully with the help of the Lord. He's saying a uh, two-hour delay, so that'll put us leaving two hours later or where we at right now. So are you guys going to be able to make it to that service? We will be able to make it to the service. The eulogy um, of the service, the funeral services are tomorrow at um, one, uh, 12 o'clock from 12 to 1 but we'd like to come up early just to get some rest because our bishop will be doing the eulogy. And that's why we want him to come and get his rest so that he'll be able to do what God has called him to do and get back on the highway on tomorrow afternoon. And hopefully it won't be as like this that we're experiencing right now, so. Of course, it's warm outside. You guys have been sitting out here for hours. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. We've had quite a few people that have taken the median out here to get around this traffic. And again, it could be several more hours as people wait in this traffic in this traffic as they work this tragedy here along I-95. Destiny Patterson, WRL News, Wilson County.